Hi, today we're going to talk about pet insulation and what a pedestal is, does in uh, protection. This is a BD4 pet. Um, it is labeled, you know, cable route, telephone cable, underground, critical circuits. They're also identified. So when you hear uh, the discussion points about a PED, P-E-D, um, this is what one looks like. And we have some auxiliary equipment hooked onto that and we will be going through in detail what a PED does. Okay, this video we're going to talk about the PED and the underground wiring of uh, twisted pair copper. In this pedestal you can see uh, it is mounted to a post um, that gives it security and, and stability you know due to weather and climates, a lot of snow, um, and so, just so that it doesn't tip over. Um, inside this PED, this cabling that we have in here are two P89 um, cables for underground buried filled cable. As you can t see in our other videos, we have markings and, and so forth. Here's the footage marking, okay? Here is later the telephone designation cabling and the manufacturing type. Also on this cable, we have identification and bonding and grounding. We have a grounding uh, strap that's actually uh, bolted on here with an alligator clip, which we showed in some of the other videos. Um, we also have a bonding cable on the other side, shows a different, two different styles that goes to a ground rod. And you can take a look at side there, you can see the ground rod way down. And then those are all bonded and grounding. Reason why we have grounding and bonding is twofold. One is for any type of electrical surge, lightning, or any type of surge that's uh, maybe a power line that uh, um, stray voltage came down the actual cable ground. And that takes a direct path to ground. The second is when you cut these two cables to uh, splice in your drop cables, you have to put that ground back on. And the, and the uh, reason we do that is for locating. So underground locates, as we're trying to locate the cable, um, you need that grounding clamp um, on there. We have another designation on here, um, this blue ribbon. This blue talks about, lets us know that that's coming from the central office. So just like um, plumbing, you'd have to know where the water source is coming from. We have to know where our electrical signal is coming from. And that blue tells us when it goes down here that this is where the electrical signal, signal is coming from or the pot service, your dial tone service, is coming from the central office. Okay, And that's uh, useful because when we troubleshoot a signal, we have to troubleshoot it and open up that circuitry on the central office side or the blue side. What I'm going to talk about now is this is a 50 pair cable, okay? 50 pair is designated with a binder group of blue for the 1 through 25 pairs and then identification of white orange for 26 through 50. That's what these are right here, okay? This, this type of splice is called the waterfall splice. Um, more often than not, we're going to have this set up like this, tie wrapped in, but I, I disconnected that so you could see a better visual for this. So what we take is we're going to splice the white or the blue binder with the blue binder and you create a waterfall splice. It comes down and then what we do is we scotch lock. That's what these are. They're called a scotch lock butt splice. And we'll take the actual identification. So if, I'll just pull this white orange one out. All right, they're twisted together, about a three inch twist. And you do white to white and orange to orange. And for our splicing, you just go like this and you crimp. And these push together and makes a contact to the conductors. So what happens is these are gonna go down the line, down the line until you have a residence or a business that needs a drop cable going to their their um, establishment and there that's where you'll splice in on that drop cable on the CO side because that's where the signal is coming from and that will go to the either home or business to their network interface device. This concludes the pedestal informational video.
This is a uh, bigger uh, underground pad system that has a variety of different types of cables, and I'll show you what's in here and what it looks like. All right, in this cable, we have still two 50 pair cables on one side, and here's the grounding alligator clip that I was talking about before, right there. This pad is identified once again with. Uh, the uh, two binders since it's 50 pairs so this would have 1 through 25 and this would be 26 through 50 and they're also designated with the blue which tells me this is coming from the central office and these are all also directional indications on north south east or west of what what direction these cables are going here is the other side once again is bonded okay to that outer sheath of this 50 pair cable and once again, here is our ground rod for grounding protection. This is another type of underground pedestal.